We're back! Let's go see what just happened. Well, this is promising. What the fuck? Well, we managed to save Alice, but Eva managed to open the doors. <laughs> if she gets the notes of immortality, nobody will be able to stop her from... Yeah, and, uh, we might want to stop her. That's one. Well, this is pleasant. Ooh, rainbow effect. That's actually cool. Anyone else getting fan of the opera flashbacks? They cheated me. And Francois. He betrayed me. Wow, he's more evil than you. The shadows serve Ava's new student, Francois. Oops, who betrayed his tutor? So, did she really stick around just to tell me that, yeah, the shadows are sucky uh, people? I could have told you that. Of course, this means that, uh, Francois is a problem now, because he's a little bastard. I mean, seriously. And immortality isn't all it's cracked up to be, because it kind of depends on what the immortality is. But if it's that immortality that you don't age at all on top of it, then he's gonna be a little ten-year-old for fucking ever! Really, does that sound any good to anyone, or... at all? I mean, seriously, I mean, okay, there are people that like to pretend they're little kids, but... In reality, would you want to, like, not be an adult, be stuck as a kid forever? That would suck! I mean, I wouldn't mind being the age I am now forever. I mean, Ava apparently did it as an old lady. That's probably not the best age to do it, but, you know, at least, you know, as a little old lady and get away with shit. Um. But a ten year old? That's. No. That seems like the worst thing you could have yourself turned into permanently. I don't think this kid thought it through. Oh, granted, impulsive ten year old. What am I thinking? think that's through? Really? <laughs> he kind of- he didn't even like give a motivation, he just kind of went, I'll be greater than the maestro, and just ran in. Hey, you little bastard! So this one servant at a time thing for a lot of these things too. Why not have like more than one student? Because then you could get more done. Because I'm guessing the shadows have their own freaking agenda.
Just a thought. Uh, yeah. Little fucking bastard is what we're dealing with now. I think I prefer Ava. You know, she was still kind of classy comparatively. I mean, you saw how she was like, ah, detective. This little guy's gonna be a little pain in the ass, isn't he? Oh well, you know what they say, kids can be cruel. We've got nothing to open it. Okay, so we don't have all the pipes. But we have it a little more fixed up. We still need a valve. Yeah, we can't really go back to the maestro's house. Ah. We're still missing a pipe. We got the key. Yeah, I'm literally looking around trying to find. I don't have anything to deal with that. I wonder. Could the glass shard be our key here? No. Maybe here. Yep, found it. Mosaic tiles. Ooh, I like this puzzle. Where the runes were, because that's what's driving me nuts. I don't remember where the rune puzzle is. Hmm. Ah, that's something we missed. A handle of some kind. Got the stick. We did all that. Turn to the right pavilion. Walk left. A mini game above the. Oh, I see it.
got it. A pouch. Okay, that's lovely. What's the pouch of? Oh, the caterpillars. Wait, what the fuck am I using caterpillars? The flowers. Eat up. Wow! Jesus Christ! Best control? We've got a problem. And I've got nothing. Yeah, I forgot how ridiculous this was. Like, it took me a long time. I had, like, a slow start to this when I first played it, thus the guide. But I seem to be getting better at it? So, basically, Ava's been betrayed. Now we got a little infant terrible to deal with. Oh, this is going to be joyously fun. Would you agree? How hard do you want me to hit the kid, really? I mean, I love kids. I think they're adorable. In this case, this is not a kid anymore. This is a little psychopath that happens to be in a kid's body who decided it would be a good idea. Read, good idea. To, uh... Deal with evil demonic shadows. Betray his teacher, mind you. And then attempt to burn us alive. So I don't think we're dealing with a normal kid anymore. I love Alice's look where she's like, get me the fuck out of this Looney Tunes place. Cleansing water kills your stupid freaking fire. We need keys, we need a crowbar. Oh no, we need a handle. We found our first stone. Sick. Yeah, we'll probably breeze through it a little faster now that I'm actually getting a rhythm again. At least I like to think I will. And just think. Then I can do the last one and tell you what the fuck is wrong with it. And the last one has collectibles. I should check the ear side to see if they're doing a new one because they mentioned the notes of immortality and weirdly that's not the next one. The next one is the music of the void. So... One would kind of assume that if they were to do a next one, the Notes of Immortality would be the one they do. Because, you know, that would make sense. They kind of mentioned it at one point. So, between that... So that means if they were to do that, that means there are technically four pieces of cursed music in this world. And what would happen if you got four violinists to play all four pieces at once?
Which could be a goal of the Shadows to get four violinists to play all four at once. And they probably weren't too thrilled with Miss Ava because... I don't know. They're assholes. All right. Might need to fill the kettle. You gotta sneeze, you gotta sneeze. And in my case, I really had to sneeze. Oh. This is gonna be an interesting one, folks, because... This actually is a more direct lead-in to the next game than the other one was. Because the other one, yeah, she snatched up, but we don't really acknowledge the fact that we kind of gave her practically the notes of life at one point. I mean, at least it addresses how she got the... I forgot it addressed how she got the notes of death back. She fucking revived the maestro himself. Like, oh great, get a zombie to do it. Like, okay, at least she, I guess, no better place than the source? What the fuck? It's like... Really, she should have stuck with cute little girls, because apparently in this universe they're less likely to betray you. Ah, mosaic tiles. We have much we must do. We must open a book. Yay, blue ones. Pretty blues. And now I must play with a painting. That's the violin. You kind of don't want that. Okay, well, we still haven't found the other... You know, in a weird way, Ava kind of deserved what she got because she was being evil, but we still don't know why the fuck she was doing this. I mean, to get immortality, that was really her only goal? Well, okay, how did she find out about the damn notes? 
I mean, it doesn't look like they really advertise that. I mean, yeah, they advertise the music of life and the music of death, but, you know, to anyone with half a, like, anyone who didn't know, they wouldn't know that it was fucking death and life itself. I mean, seriously, um, what the fuck is going on here? Like, the only thing that always bothered me is why did the little boy decide I'll betray her? Like, did he just, I keep, I keep trying to, uh, say, oh, it was an impulsive, I'm gonna be a little rat bastard, basically. But really, I can't, like, fully comprehend it. Like, why? Why even bother doing that? It's not like it gains you anything, except, you know... I guess she just found the most rotten, spoiled, evil little kid she could that would still listen to her play. Would still listen to her and learn to play, I should say. Not listen to her play, actually play. She kind of needed them to do that. <laughs> Wait, what am I looking for, a Caterpillar? I'm looking for a doorknob. What's wrong with me? Okay, now let's play the notes of suck. Told you it was the notes of suck. Oh, perfect. It's too late, detective. Though the maestro's notes of immortality are not here, it won't be long before the shadows find them. And I will do everything I can to help them. The fuck is wrong with you, kid? What glitch do you have to make you do this? I mean, for fuck's sake, you're going to be a ten-year-old boy forever if the notes of immortality do what I think they do. That sucks! Can you at least wait till puberty? Wait till you're 18 to do this. Because then at least you can do, like, all the adult things on top of it, and maybe you'll actually have a fucking moral compass on top of it. But Jesus Christ, what is wrong with you? Wow! What glitches in your head that you, well, one, went along with this willingly, because the last kid she tried to drag into this went, fuck no, uh, two, betrayed the person who went along, who dragged you into this to gain the same thing she was after, and three, to do this as a ten-year-old boy. I mean, what glitches in your head?
Oh, that looks comfortable. I don't think man's the right word here. This kid barely has his voice cracking. by that ran too. What glitch is in that kid's head to make him do this? Yeah, I'm not making fun of uh, mental disabilities. For me, glitches is the easiest way to think of them. It's just, in this case, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck would drive someone to do, like, any of this. <laughs> well, that was fun. on those gloves, but well, I guess you need to be able to find it in this case. And yeah, I did go on a bit of a rant to that kid. Like, I know he can't answer me, I know he's a video game character, but... Oh, for the love of... Don't scan, you already did it today. I'm not even kidding, it just did a scan, like, a while ago. And yeah, we seem to be going on to the half hour mark, but... Um... Let me finish this and then I'll stop the video in that case. But you can't. <laughs> We're getting close to the end of this, so I may just finish it in one. Like, I may make it so that the bonuses are just one video. Uh, because it's just easier. But you can kind of see why I went on that little tangent to the kid. Because, like, I really can't process why he would do something like that. Any of it. It's like, you know, what is possessing this kid? Um. Which I'm sure a couple of you probably got like a nice big laugh out of because of how insane the rant was. Like, just. Yeah, you actually do that with it. You don't cut them, you tie them up nice and neat. Okay, I just realized a problem with this. I don't know where the fuck to use them. So it's 
loot. Flute, cello, violin, drum, trumpet. The shadows are pissed. And they the broke it. mean nothing, detective. I will get the notes of immortality. And with them, I will become greater than even the maestro himself. You know, without Amy, you wouldn't even know who the fuck the maestro is. You're ten. You probably don't even know what that phrase fucking means. I barely know what it means, and I'm 30. Like... Greater than the maestro himself. Does I mean you can write better music? It's because you actually figure out how to play the notes of immortality? You know, what is the greater than? You know, Ava never fucking explained it. She's the only one that really knew what the hell it probably meant. So, what the fuck? <laughs> you don't even know what you're saying! I think that's the end of it, actually. Yeah, that's the end of it. He never got the notes of immortality in this one. Instead, I just griped that up for the end. <laughs> like, two times I ran at it to get, like, why? I think we get a better answer in the third one, because, uh, obviously there's a third one, and obviously that kind of indicates that he's the main antagonist, not Ava. This is what I was starting to remember, like, Oh, yeah, the little bastard betrayed her. <laughs> the little fucktard actually did something stupid. Um, but I couldn't remember if it was, like, him... Uh, I remembered he was the main antagonist of the third one, but... I don't remember if the third one ends on an ambiguous note like this one did, uh, an obvious sequel hook like the first one did, or if it ends and that's it, no more, bye. Um... I think it ended on a buy, but, and I'm talking with the uh, extra, and actually the extra didn't take that much longer, of like, you know, except for me, you know, doing the final goodbye, we did it, do 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 kind of thing, um, pretty much the game is over, this game is over, and it was actually a shorter one, uh, because I wasn't running around like, I don't know what I'm doing, because I kept looking at the guy when I went, oh, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, but yeah, yeah, I ranted at the kid twice, just yelling at him, like, what is your major malfunction? All right, that is literally what I'm thinking, is what is your malfunction? I don't really know what they mean by greater than the maestro, now that I think about it. It's like, can you write greater music? Can you play better than he did? Uh, are you able to get the immortality he never did? Okay, we saw this. Concept art. Oh, it was originally a woman. I guess we were supposed to find her mother originally. Cool. Oh, wow. The intros. The skull puzzle. Ooh, that would have been cool if it was just stone? That's cool. But yeah, that's it. And this little bastard... We'll see if he does a loop like the other one that or if he looks at us or something. But this little fucker... Just made more work for a poor detective. Give him a big middle finger as we leave on these notes. And this is the end of Maestro, Notes of Life, sequel to Maestro, Music of Death, appropriately enough. Stay tuned next time when we do the Notes of the Void. Or is it Music of the Void? I don't know! I just know it's of the void, which is usually a bad thing! By the way, I just noticed that, uh... The kid can't even wear his fucking suspenders right! 
I mean, the sock thing, I have socks that do that too. You know, I can ignore that. That shit happens. Fine. You buckle both your fucking suspenders, kiddo, and your overalls. God damn it. This just keeps getting worse for me. Like, you are a little brat bastard and you need to be stabbed repeatedly. You know, why do you want this? And on that note, I better leave before I break my brain some more. Bye!